This is Patrice Wendling of Elsevier Global Medical News, and I'm at the annual meeting of the Radiological Society of North America. I'm with Dr. Rachel Brem of George Washington University, who just presented data um, showing that gamma-specific breast imaging was able to identify an additional lesion missed by mammography in 29% of women and found additional cancers previously unknown in 9% of cancer patients. Doctor, could you please talk about how this approach differs from traditional mammography? Breast-specific gamma imaging is a form of molecular breast imaging, and so it asks the question, how does cancer function different than the surrounding breast tissue? This is in contrast to mammography and ultrasound, which is an anatomic approach and asks the question, how does breast cancer look differently than the surrounding breast tissue? So this fundamentally different approach to breast cancer diagnosis gives us, uh, us the opportunity to diagnose more cancers. We've also been hearing at this meeting about other technologies, including PEM, and how does this compare with PEM? So PEM is pet of the breast. It uses a uh, higher radiation dose. The equipment is uh, far more expensive. The tracer is far more expensive, uh, the tracer that's used. And uh, this can be used in all women. Uh, it doesn't matter what your glucose is or whether you're diabetic. It doesn't require uh, waiting after injection. And this is a technology that we've integrated directly in our breast imaging center with no special shielding, no special uh, uh, regulations for the room, uh, and so it's a much lower dose and a different type of uh, radio tracer uh, that is uh, a lower dose for patients. How does the experience compare for women, and uh, what have you been hearing from them regarding going through this exam? The equipment is quite different. Right. So um, let me just go back to PEM for a second as well. One of the things that's important to remember is that we, di we can reliably diagnose uh, many cancers that are the smallest, one millimeter in size, and so there really isn't any need to diagnose cancers that are smaller than that. That's the smallest that you could possibly image. With regard to women, it's, um, women are imaged with breast-specific gamma imaging seated comfortably in a machine. It takes about six or seven minutes for each image. We do at least four images, two of each breast, in the positions comparable to mammography. Uh, and, um, it, it, you know, they often watch videos or read during this, so there isn't any discomfort or any... Um, it, it's something that the women tolerate very well. It requires an injection in your arm of a very safe radio tracer that's been used for over 20 years. Um, and it can be done in women with renal insufficiency, with pacemakers, and with other um, conditions that would preclude the possibility of doing an MRI. There is no breast compression? Uh, no, there's just a plate that's put on the breast, but there is not a compression. It's very gentle. It's not like mammography. And this is also an FDA-approved technology, and it is available in about 50 centers in the United States? Yes, it's, uh, it is FDA-approved since 1999. And, uh, approximately 100,000 exams have been done. Uh, it's available in about 50 sites across the country, and it's fully integrated and easily integrated into clinical breast practice. How do you see the future of this technology being used? I think it's a very exciting technology. It's a technology that um, will help us identify cancer in high-risk women with normal mammograms and physical examination. Clearly, as the study presented today shows, we find more cancers in newly diagnosed breast cancer, and that significantly impacts management. Uh, it will help us with the equivocal mammographic findings or clinical findings, where we're not really sure. It will help uh, um, identify lesions. And it's going to be, I think, a very effective tool in, in helping assure that a breast cancer is not present as well. So both the positive examination and negative examination is going to be extremely important. It's a technology that's easily integrated into clinical practice, well received by patients, very cost effective, and uh, really help us diagnose cancers that we otherwise would not have seen. Thank you very much, Doctor. This is Patrice Wenling of Elsevier Global Medical News.